My mom was a great cook, and when she started forgetting the recipe, that's when we realized her Alzheimer's was worse than we thought. My mother's name was Mary. My name is Liz, and I'm here to talk about my husband, Dennis. My name is Kathy Azoni, and my mother had Alzheimer's. When Mom Hammond was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, we quickly made the decision to have her come and live with us. But to be honest, we had no idea how we would pull it off. I always remembered my uncle as a very down-to-earth person who was always quick with a joke at a party. I have some fond memories shopping with her, picking on my Easter dresses. As I got older, I noticed she wasn't able to kind of do those things anymore, kind of just drift farther and farther away. When I was in my mid-20s, a good friend of mine turned to me and said, Jim, my mother just got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She's 53 years old. We don't know what to do as a family. My parents were diagnosed with Alzheimer's. My dad passed away a year ago, and my mom continues to fight the fight. The fear that someone else in her lineage is going to have that, that's a fear that a lot of people whose family members have suffered from Alzheimer's do have. My dad loves jokes, and it breaks my heart to watch Alzheimer's steal that. But our family will never forget the jokes and will never forget what a special human being my dad is. I would say the one and only bright light of hope has been the Alzheimer's Association. I am most grateful for the Alzheimer's Association that gave us strength through the most difficult of times. While finding a cure for Alzheimer's is paramount, helping people live full lives as best they can while living with dementia is so important. The Alzheimer's Association has done that for us. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the Alzheimer's Association for all of the terrific work that you do. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. We just want to say thank you. My father took care of my mother for 13 years, but heroes need help. If you are in a family with anyone who's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I think you know that it goes far beyond whoever is diagnosed. I want to see Alzheimer's become a thing of the past and something that is in the history books one day. And I know that it starts with nights like these.